go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good health, everyone. How are you doing today? Good health, good health, good health. Let's push this back a little bit. How's everyone doing today? We've got my antennas up. Can't stop the antenna. I think I'm going to wash, uh, dye my hair today. Still debating on whether or not I want to. Where's my glasses? Oh, I lost my glasses. Still bait debating on whether or not I want to, but I think I should. You guys can't tell because I actually put color in it every morning. Every morning I put color in my hair. Oh, good. I think you guys can hear me. Oh, good. I think you guys can hear me. The mic check is working. Let me say hello to everyone. Hi, Millicent. Hi, Jenny G. Hi, Linda Denise. Did you change your name? Good health, good health, good health. Grand rising, mother of rats. Good health, good health, good health. Can't get this antenna to go down. Go down, antenna. Go down. All right. You know, I woke up this morning to Kate getting a beating. Just a beating. William is the real trickster, and Kate is getting a beating. I told y'all from the reading that I got last night, child, that was not Kate that wrote that note on Twitter. That was William. And if Kate was healthy enough to take that picture, she should have taken a video of herself and be like, guys, I did that. I'm so sorry. No. William admitted to taking a picture. He lied. And then the apology that supposedly came from C. Have you guys, I mean, I'm not in the UK, so whoever's in the UK, have you ever known her to be C? Oh, thank you, Linda. I could tell, I could tell. I'm very observant. Has anybody in the UK ever known Catherine to be C? And what is that? Like, what is that letter? I think that William is a pathological, abusive, unkind individual. So with that being said, I need everyone in the UK, the media, to stop blaming Kate. 
Blame the system. Blame the monarchs. Please do not blame Cain. This is too much. And then yesterday, there was another picture that was sent out where Kate was supposedly in the car with William. But paparazzi, why aren't you guys following this around? Where's the follow-up? Where's the motorcycles that chase Diana around? Where's the follow-up? Why can't we see y'all following Kate? She's in the car, supposedly had an appointment. How come we don't know what appointment this was? Where's the paparazzi? The lie. It's coming out of the monarch because not even that picture was true. Because this is what you got of Kate. What? Also, why don't you guys have tinted windows? A lot of this would be solved if there was a law where you could have tinted windows in the back. Why doesn't anyone have tinted windows? Is it against, like, monarchy to have tinted windows because then you can't see? I don't understand. Can somebody get some tinted windows in the UK? We, this, all of this <clears throat> wouldn't be a thing. I'm so upset. Where in the hell is Kate Middleton? They have shortened it in the UK. Where is Kate? Hashtag got it. Got it. I'm American. Hashtag where in the hell is Kate Middleton? I know, it wasn't even a good profile. Like a profile is this. This is what we got. We got three quarters of, uh, uh, one eighth of a profile. Where in the hell is Kate Middleton? Atia, that's what, it could have been anyone and notice every time something happens William is at the helm notice that no she had her face turned like Like it wasn't her. That's what I thought. She had a face turned like it wasn't her. Because clearly they're trying to create a doppelganger. They tried with Carol in that stupid car of hers. This could have been the same doppelganger. Like... Something is so wrong here. Where in the hell is Kate Middleton? Show your face. If you could pretend to post a picture, pretend to apologize, then you can show a video of yourself. Unless William beat her so badly that that's why she's, the black eye hasn't recovered, allegedly in my opinion. Maybe they're waiting for the black eye to clear. And you know how you get that black eye where inside it turns purple and blue? Do you know what I mean? Maybe that's what they're waiting for, for her to get complete. Maybe she broke her nose. I mean, I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. I do believe that she's mental. That's what I do believe. I believe that she's mental. And I believe they can't trust her or trust her word. So. Uh, I believe they want to give her a lobotomy. 
or some pills that would be like, hi, Kate. Hi. Kate, you okay? Uh-huh. That's why I think they can't show her. Hi, Kiona. I, I don't I don't know what to say, guys. I'm disturbed. I'm concerned. And now today, listen to this. Today, it's all about this affair with Rose. You guys can't see this is calculated. We wake up to, because they're five hours ahead of us, four or five, I don't remember. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. I think they're five hours ahead of us, so it's about 2 p.m. there. We wake up to Rose and William. Rose and William. Notice the patriarchy of the system would rather you all suspect that William is a cheater than to suspect that Kate also cheated, that Kate might have become pregnant by her cheater, but now Rose is pregnant by her cheater. story is whose story and we won't know until we talk to Kate we have to talk to Kate we gotta know whose story is whose story and Kate if you cheated you gotta be like Diana you gotta come out and tell it but nobody wants a repeat of Diana right in a weird kind of way William hated his mother oh y'all didn't pick up on that talk to the psychic he hated his mother because his mother caused too much trouble. Like he just wanted her to sit there and take the beating from his father. True story. He hated her. And she knew the time of day, so she just had to be patient. She didn't know she was going to die. ridiculous uh, uh, hi Dita Okay. Okay, I appreciate that, Millicent. It is four hours Eastern time. You're just four hours ahead? That's really cool. I didn't know that. Atia says, I think they are trying to get ahead of everything so they don't have another bingo. So they have locked Kate until she comes to her senses, until they get some meds in her, and until they get her to shut up. Kate, one thing I loved about Diana, Diana talked. Diana put out secret recordings, books, everything. Diana told the truth about how she tried to throw herself down the stairs, carrying William. today. I'm going to color it today, guys. Uh, I have readings today, but I don't know what time. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to figure out when I should color my hair. I have the energy to color it. That's what really matters. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. 
quite enough spread to color my hair. Yes. Oh my goodness. Do you know what I'm saying? I gotta color my hair today. <laughs> I gotta color my hair today. I don't know if this thing is on. Let me check to see if it's on. Are you on, Mike? Not the best, but it is what it is. So I wanted to play something for you guys. I I like this summary of everything that's going down. They've mentioned everything that I've ever said in any of my readings. But please remember, last night I did a reading and I said Kate did not write the apology. William did. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he was well-trained to be king. So imagine the disgusting sounds Queen Elizabeth was making when she had to talk about her mother, his mother. Like, they're all pathetic. All right. I want you guys to listen to this. It's really good. Let me just get up some pictures here. long my hair is. I am so proud of my hair. I gotta color it today. <laughs> I keep telling you. Can you see the lightness of the hair? Can you see how light it is? This is called sun kiss. I don't like sun kissed hair. It's not my favorite thing, but I think it's a phenomenon that happens with locks, right? It gets sun kissed, but I don't understand why the tips get sun kissed. It's so weird. But in any case, I'm gonna color it now the sun kiss color. All right. Let's play this. Oh, this is from, let's see what, what channel is. First Insider. First Insider. Begins journalist Concha Kaleva, who once claimed that Kate Middleton had been put into an induced coma. She surprised everyone this week by stating that everything we are currently being told both in official and unofficial communications through British tabloids, is far removed from the reality that the Princess of Wales is currently experiencing. Concha Kalega was refuted by Buckingham Palace itself regarding these revelations she made just a few weeks ago, and she attempted to undermine her reputation as a professional, a journalist of many years who has always dealt with current issues, written biographies of historical figures, and even contributed to scripts for films and television series. Her resume is extensive, her work is also vast, and I repeat, we are talking about a serious journalist who has no reason to fabricate anything regarding Kate Middleton's health in this case. But they not only say that we are not being told the whole truth, but also that it is now impossible to talk about it. This was a phrase she uttered on a television program here in Spain. Why can't we talk? Because obviously here in Spain, we cannot just disclose people's illnesses. We can respond, they say this, they say that, but no one has a medical diagnosis, a report that would reveal her current state of health. This, as I say, goes beyond mere gossip. We are talking about people who represent a public institution like the British monarchy, and therefore, if required, as she is planning to take at least three months off, some explanation is required on this matter. And what is happening is that the secrecy with which all this is being handled is ultimately costing the British monarchy itself. In this debate, Contra Kalea also pointed to one person, 
Camilla Parker Bowles, who already practically has the status of queen, not queen consort, but queen. Her figure is now higher than that of William, who is the heir and should have taken over the entire situation with the agendas of the British monarchy. However, this is not the case in the end. The stepmother was the one who wielded all the power, and I do not want to repeat myself. Harry often talks about this topic and about the influence that Camilla has on the fourth power, the press. We were also told that Delton's condition is deteriorating faster than expected. But what condition? It is about abdominal surgery, surgery on the digestive system, or any other disease, which in this case would make more sense than everything we have been told so far. When rumors about Kate Middleton began to appear, a fairly strong theory emerged. At the moment, we know that in the London clinic, we have not seen any images. We saw Carlos II come out through the door, greeting everyone. In the case of Kate, we only saw a stream of cars, but no one in the back seat. And then there were speculations that Kate was not in the London clinic. In addition, later it was said that she was not in Adelaide Cottage. Contra Kaleva yesterday revealed that the story that we were sold, that she had gone to spend a week skiing with her children in Sandringham, was also a lie. So we're discussing the possibility that Kate Middleton might be in a different place. A strong theory I've mentioned is associated with an illness that isn't related to the digestive system, but rather to mental health. On social media and among many people, it's been suggested that Kate Middleton's disappearance is actually linked to a supposed admission to a psychiatric clinic where she could find balance in her thoughts and become the Kate Middleton she once was again. This theory is supported by the scandals of 2023, which I remind you of. On one hand, this special friendship between William and Rose Hanbury, the alleged mistress, begins to make a lot of sense. They talk about a certain bad life in the marriage of William and Kate, with William linked to a supposed alcohol addiction, which makes cohabitation with his wife impossible. A woman who is truly tired of all this and must endure not only the role of a wife, but also the role of a woman and also the Princess of Wales, who must maintain elegance, must maintain discretion, and in the end, all this has overwhelmed her. In addition, there are also family problems. On one hand, they say that Kate's family has long been unable to see William, that they can't stand him, that there is a certain irritation with them. On the other hand, it has always been said, although this, this comes not so much from Harry and Meghan, but from the British tabloids, which have no relationship with them not so much direct, but indirect, through their own husband. And moreover, those who could be their allies, in this case it would be King Carlos and Camilla, they are also the main enemies of William and of course her. Issues of popularity, issues of ego, issues of who occupies more news, more images, more covers, and above all, who is more liked by the British and citizens of Commonwealth countries. All this has led to Kate Middleton not feeling quite well to cope with all this, at least in the beginning. From the information we have been giving, we know that, at least, there is one lie. And it is that at the moment when all this matter with Kate became public, it turns out, it was not at the beginning of January, but rather at the end of December. They talk about Christmas, December 25, when she, during lunch, something happened, and therefore she was taken to the London clinic or somewhere else. It seems that this was the day that was the trigger for everything that is happening to her so far. At the time, the official message stated that Kate Middleton had a scheduled operation and she didn't tell anyone about it, which is quite strange, quite hard to believe. And the last theory talks about a series of cosmetic procedures, which is why they do not show the disease or illness that she is currently experiencing as the Princess of Wales. What is clear is that with Contra Collegia, it is confirmed that although they want to make the story of the events consistent, it slips at certain moments, and if it slips, it means we are being lied to. Indeed, if this were a cosmetic procedure, for instance, I understand that it would be somewhat scandalous because we would say, well, look, she went to have a cosmetic operation and look how it ended. But I also appeal to common sense that we all undoubtedly empathize with illnesses, whatever they may be, but it seems that the theory that puts Kate in a problem with mental health and from there, many things that she has crossed a supposed bipolarity and even a psychotic outbreak from which she has not yet recovered. As I say, Contra Kaleva confirms that Buckingham Palace lies in its messages in these official communiques, which it has made so far, and with a rather embellished vision of what it seems is not so. It seems to me that these statements will have repercussions throughout the week, 
just as when it was said that Kate Middleton had been put into an induced coma. I want to remind you that Concha Calega never once mentioned problems with digestion or abdominal surgery, which by and large are the official version that we have been given, but there can be many things here. Also, at the end of 2023, there were rumors of a divorce between William and Kate, and among all this, we cannot forget about the figures of three children. Three children who, in principle, are not like here in Spain, where the infants being girls went to school, yes, but lived with their parents and nothing happened, there is not. There they keep them relatively inside, and they see them when they see them, because they also have to fulfill their royal commitments to the agenda and all that. It is also worth remembering the theory, a little more difficult, although I would not say that it is impossible, because there a figure came out, a figure that is nine months. Could Kate have gotten pregnant? Were these complications from a supposed pregnancy that led her to her current state of health? Well, this is another one of the theories that are spoken about. In any case, as I say, the words of Concha Calega confirm that here is much more than what we were initially told. And from here we must observe, and of course, be very attentive to everything that happens. I do not know what you think about everything that Concha Calega has expressed. Whether you agree with the theories, if not, leave it in the comments, subscribe, Click on the bell. Give Concha Kalea is a very, very respected journalist. And every time Concha Kalea opens her mouth, the royal monarch adjusts. Every single time. So, Concha Kalea, what do you have for us? What's next? What do you want to tell? Do you know they fired the nanny? Are you guys aware they, fi they fired the nanny? Concha Kalea doubled down on Kate Middleton's coma after Palace pushed back. <laughs> and then she came back and said, excuse me, Prince Charles doesn't have cancer. And that she does know what he has. Um, and then we get this picture. I want to know what Concha Kalea says. I, I'm only going to believe Concha Kalea. She's my girl. You know what? She's born July 10th. That is just like Wendy Williams. She's the Wendy Williams of Spanish TV. Concha Kalea. She is a journalist. She has written several books. She's got one on Diana and one on Michael Jackson. She has contributed to the, the series The Crown. She is a trusted journalist. So they know that when she speaks, she's, she ain't kidding. She's, she's the girl. And they are afraid of her. Even Lipstick Alley has her on. Concha Kalea, what you got? Say something, because we need to know. So she also might have a YouTube channel. Let me check. She does. She has a YouTube channel. When's your last video? Darn it, 11 months ago? Oh, no, no, no. Tancha, we need an update, and we need you to tell us what you know about the princess, please. 
You're the only, four months ago, four months ago. Okay, but we still need an update, sweetie. You gotta know more. You gotta tell us. Tell us what you know. I mean, you're just speculating, right? It's all in Spanish. I wonder if I can get English subtitles. All right, what's everybody saying? Hi, Miss Favelle, how are you? Bree, happy Tuesday, lovely people. It's Tuesday, or oh, I went exercising this morning. I did it, I did it, I went there. So now I wanna go to sleep. You know when you're not used to exercising and you go exercise and you feel like you did so much that you just wanna lay down? And I only did 20 minutes of aerobics, that's it, but now I just want to go to sleep. Go to sleep, Tracy. Hi, Incognito. Go to sleep, Tracy. If anybody wants a reading with me, I have plenty of openings today. Yesterday I was booked out. It was terrible yesterday. 213-458-7408. But I have a lot of openings today. And the only thing I'm going to do is color my hair. I'm excited about coloring my hair. I want to color my hair. You know what makes it bad about coloring your hair is that now that it's long, right, from my rosemary oil, now that it's long, ugh, I use so much soap. When it was short, I could be like, ch -ch 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 done. Now I got to part it in sections. Yeah. I got to part it in four sections. And then I wash it. So funny. Okay, guys. I am not used to this time change. I'm trying to adjust. But I'm not used to it. What's today's date? The 12th? this morning that this guy was going to testify on, for, uh, against Boeing. It's really weird. And he dies. Boeing whistleblower found unalive just before he was going to give a deposition. Guys, are these planes not safe? Very, very weird. 62 years old, had worked at Boeing for over three decades as a quality control engineer and manager, manager until his retirement. In 2017, has for the past few years been outspoken about his skepticism of the company's safety standards with some under... In 2019, just months after an Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 and a Lion Air Boeing 737 MAX both crashed minutes after takeoff, Barnett, and everyone died, Barnett told the BBC that workers at one Boeing factory had deliberately 
fitting faulty parts to planes to meet production deadlines. Oh God. And then oxygen mask on a 787 Dreamliner had a one in four chance of failing during an emergency. Barnett said he had, lo he had alerted Boeing managers as well as the FAA to the concerns, but that no action had been taken. Boeing denies his allegations. So it acknowledged that an inspection in 2017 found that some oxygen masks were in fact not deploying properly. Barnett also told the New York Times in 2019 that he was reprimanded for documenting, documenting process violations. via email. They didn't want him to email. They wanted him to face to face, which he took to mean the company didn't want him putting problems in writing, see? In 2014, performance review seen by the Times, Barnett's manager told him that he had to improve at working in the gray areas and help find a way while maintaining compliance. In January, the plane manufacturer, Boeing, made headlines again when Alaska Airlines, Boeing 737 MAX 9, made an emergency landing shortly after takeoff in Portland after one of its emergency exit doors blew out mid-air, causing passengers' belongings to fly out of the hole and pressure on the plane to be dis destabilized. Yeah, if somebody unalived him, then Boeing is is a fuck up. <laughs> if somebody had to unalive him, that means Boeing is dangerous. Literally, as we're flying in Boeing. Like mid mid flight making emergency. There's been a lot of plane incidents lately. Yeah, I think it's all Boeing. I think it's just Boeing. He said it was due to him unaliving himself. What? Hey. Does anybody know the story of this Brit girl? What is the story with this Brit girl? I'm so confused. No new planes. I agree with you. I agree with you, Kenneth. In any case, whether he unalived himself, which I find that hard to believe, right? Because he's been at the forefront of trying to fix things. Hi, Colin. How are you? Oh, I got your money. Are we? I have your. Okay. All right. Bye. someone money five dollars but I still owe it I owe money. <laughs> All right.
Okay. Um, can it, how do you find if the plane is new or not? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, any 737 is new. What's the name of that plane? Any Are you guys in, wait, what? Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. I'm jealous. Are you guys in? Oh my God, I think my son is in New York City. They're in New York. That's East Coast time, so I can text them. Bye. Uh -uh. All right. All right. That is so cool. I told you my son was going to do some press for the Nickelodeon documentary, Quiet, on the set. Uh, I got to get some information from him. I got to figure out what's going on. Where are you? <laughs> fun day eat pizza eat pizza please please got to go who's Rosie oh my god who is Rosie oh my god you guys look so cute I'll show you guys a picture. They look so cute. Wait. Actually, I don't know if I should be showing you guys a picture. Yeah, you know what my dad said? My dad said, if there's a union problem, don't buy a car. Because they, per I'm sorry, car makers, you know you do this. Because the workers will sabotage the car. That's what my dad said. so fun
eat pizza. Eat pizza. I want everyone to eat pizza when you go to New York. By the way, can I Google if I need it? What? Wait, what? Listen, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, you're playing. Listen, relax, everyone. When you purchase your plane ticket, it tells you your plane. It tells you the model. It tells you your seating on the plane. It's all on your plane ticket, people. Ugh, there's no secrets. Angela, your plane ticket always tells you what the hell you're riding on. <laughs> I gotta teach you everything. I gotta teach everybody everything. That's true. It is subject to change at any time. Oh my God, Angela, what are you talking about? You haven't been on a plane since 1992. Angela, go travel somewhere, please. What are you talking about? laughing at Ronnie. Angela, you don't brag. 1992 is ridiculous. <laughs> Angela, I need you to get on a plane. At least go locally. Oh, oh, you want to know what the worst planes are? Try the little putt-putt planes at Newark Airport and try taking a plane to like, I don't know, New Jersey, uh, New Jersey, no, Atlantic City. Try those type of planes. By the time you get to your destination, you're like this. Like there's no oxygen. It's all heat. And the plane the whole time is going. You can't be like um, motion sickness. Nope. I'm so happy for them. I saw your, what is it? I saw your story and I'm like, they ain't in Kansas anymore. Oh, wait, 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 eat a bagel, eat a bagel. You, you've never had a bagel until you've had a bagel in New York City. They make bagels this big, like it's a crime, this big. And, and you've never had an egg bagel sandwich with bacon. You never had it. You have to have it in New York City. That's it. That's it. Period. I missed a flight from Jerusalem. And we stopped off in Jersey, which is just as good. Stopped off at the airport in Jersey. I think it was Jersey. Or was it JFK? I don't remember. And I was on my, I didn't even think about a bagel. I was on my way to my airplane 
and there was bagel, bagel and coffee. And I had to, I had to. And I got to the gate and the doors were closing. Well, let me tell you something. I cried. I cried. They, they booked me for another flight two hours later. I cried and I ate that bagel. I was like, I'm dead. The flight. Drink my coffee. decided if I wasn't supposed to be on that plane that plane might go down so I might as well just be happy and enjoy my bagel so that's what I ultimately committed to ultimately I committed to enjoying my bagel <laughs> no wellness travel beautiful conundrum Hi, what's BEC only here? Oh my goodness, beautiful conundrum, wellness from the right place. Y'all are understanding each other. I'm confused. I have been going through trauma based things since 1991 that aren't appropriate to mention for this particular topic. Oh, I'm sorry, Angela. No, 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 no. Don't, don't mention it because I'm sure it's a lot. Oh my god. Oh, Angela. <laughs> okay. Angela's been going through things, people. So, it's okay. Bacon, egg, and cheese is a BEC? Oh, y'all must have changed New York up. Y'all must have changed New York up. What? Bagel with cream cheese and jelly. See, that's my jam. Bagel and cream cheese. That's my jam. I got. I gotta have. Y'all, let me tell you something. That's for breakfast. Now, for lunch, you gotta have a turkey bacon bacon bagel sandwich. You have to. Cream cheese with bacon. Oh, stop. Stop the madness. Beautiful conundrum is in New York City. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now that I'm thinking about it, what's the schedule? See, you don't tell me nothing. All right. I would have wished them happy travel or something. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Then at lunchtime, around two ish, eight o'clock. Well, you know when you're when you're a tourist, you might eat at 7, 8, and you might be hungry 12 or 1, right? Because you're a tourist, right? And then you have another bagel. Turkey, bacon with sauce, some kind of sauce, avocado. Oh, God. And they make it this thick. They pile on the turkey. Nobody's cheap in New York City. It never will happen. You're going to eat in New York City. And then around four, especially eight at 12, because you're tourists, around three or four, now you gotta go into a local pizza somewhere. Go into any local pizza. The bread is so thin, and then when you lift it up, the cheese just falls off. Like you gotta be like maneuvering the, the pizza, and ah, uh, yes, yes. Wait, lunch chopped cheese 
with a bag of chips and a drink. A nine dollar drink? Is that liquor? Ooh, a sandwich. A sandwich from Farmer in the Deli. Where is Farmer in the Deli? Where is it? What street? I must go. All right, so I'm so excited because my son is in New York City with his wife, and they're so cute. Let me, I think I can show this picture with all of them together. I don't know. Listen, after that whole COVID debacle, I, I'm scared. I don't want nobody, you told my this, I don't want none of that, but how do I find it now? I'll show a picture. Because at first I was like, that looks like day, but I don't see me, I don't see where they live. I see another big major city. Aww. Aww. Look at that. Hold on, guys. I gotta color my hair. Oh, how cute! Oh, 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 oh! This is my son uh, with the black jacket on. His wife has on that beautiful orange. Gio, Giovanni Samuels, is the other actor that worked with my son Brian on all that. And she's also in the documentary. She is cute as hell. And who's behind her is her manager, also named Gio. How cute are they? This is cute. Oh, no worries. Aww. Give him my love. Aww. So, so far, guys, they're going to be on... They're going to be on the Today Show on at 12. Today, oh. Today's show on at 12, and then she believes Nightline. Okay, update me on the schedule, please. Schedule. Please. When you Okay, so, so far she does, <clears throat> she does know, my son's wife, Day, does know that they will be on a Today Show at 12. Is there a 12 o'clock hour? I never know what the Today Show. And then <laughs> Nightline tonight. They're very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. All right, guys, I'm officially tired. Speaking from the today is the 12th. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me know. Don't forget. Please. All right. 
so exciting. So proud of my son. And when you guys see the documentary, you're going to see it heavy. And the only thing that came out of this is that nobody got to my son. Like, recently, somebody talked about my son, and I went ballistic. You have never seen a mama bear ever come out in your life. And all they did was talk about my son, right? Can you imagine the, the uh, I, I can't, I, I don't even want to imagine because it, woo, woo. Oh, I would not be a YouTuber right now. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. I would not be a YouTuber. Right. Oh, yes. Many moons, many moons. How are you? Isn't it just the cutest picture? Oh, thank you. Speaking from the purple cow. Yeah. It's all like amazing. I'm, I'm really proud of my son. Oh, I really am in so many ways, even when we got back together. For him to not let me talk and to listen to him and what came out of his mouth was apology after apology after apology. And then, you know what he said? In, in the, well, I don't want to give away too much, but he mentioned that he's in counseling. And that's something I am also proud of for a black man to say I'm in counseling and own it and be proud of it like that's amazing the whole two years that we were not in communication he and his wife were healing themselves boom I know my hair is so long look <laughs> and it's so thick and full it's because it's of my hair. I, I prove it myself. I was like, I'm not selling this product until I can prove it. It's because of my hair oil. Easy, breezy, beautiful rosemary oil. <laughs> I want that oil, girl, please. TracyBrownLive.com. Just go to TracyBrownLive.com. Proud of you being that B when it came to your child. <laughs> Sky, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I never thought I would get any credit for being such a fierce mom. I never thought that, but I think I'm proud of myself too. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. Guys, please go, go and order the oil. Love that shirt. Oh, Sylvester. Sylvester Art and Tarot on SD. He sells this. Go get it. All right, guys, I love you, and I want to thank you, and I am open for readings, 2 and 3, 4, 5, 8, 7, 4, 0, 8. Like and subscribe. If you love me, like me and subscribe. If you don't love me, it's just that you don't love one video. You're going to love the next video, so just like me and subscribe, whether, you, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> By the way, my subscribership is growing. And I'm so impressed <laughs> with myself. <laughs> All right. Also, I've got this new series out called Prayer. And watch it. Watch it. It's all a 10 minutes long, if anything. All right, guys. I gotta go. I gotta color my hair. I don't know if I should do it now or do it after my first reading. I don't know what to do. I'll do it after my first reading. 
I did what was needed to be done. Yes. And then my son got kicked off the show. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I was like, kick me off. Kick me off. <laughs> well, it wasn't me that they were kicking off. It was my son. So that brought a series of heartaches. But wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Psalm 27. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait, what is it saying? I don't know. I don't have the Bible here. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Sometimes the Lord takes years. Sometimes he just does. Sometimes he takes years. When your mother and father forsake thee, wait on the Lord. Let me see. I'll tell you right now. Wait on the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So all I could do was wait. Heal myself. Fix myself. Deal with myself. That's all I could do. Oh, Cecilia, Cecilia just ordered an oil. Cecilia just ordered an oil. Oh, you, oh, you, oil. Cecilia just ordered an oil. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good. This is good. Thank you, Ce Cecilia. Wait, Cecilia. Wait. Maybe I pronounced the name wrong. It is Cecilia. Cecilia, that's my grandmama's name. Oh, Lord. First Millicent, now Cecilia. Oh, child, my life about to change. Is that your first name? Oh, thank you, sweetie. How come I didn't know that and you were on my show? Yes, you told me that when you did my reading. <laughs> my life about to change. These women, these ancestors are coming through. They're coming through. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to say... Follow, like, subscribe. It takes a thumb. Subscribe. You know what to do. And if you want a reading with me today, I'm going to do my hair. But I could do, because, you know, you have to let the dye sit in for 30 minutes. I could do a reading during that portion of it. I could. All right, guys. I love you. Let me finish out with. The most recent trailer that came out. Lord have mercy. Wait till you guys see it. It's heavy. Yeah. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. It wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Hey, thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon, all in a short amount of time. Hey guys, we're ready for you. It was a toxic environment. 
It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It's a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? 